gangsta shit at last Black gloves, black masks, coming for your crack stash I'ma let that Mac blast, you bragging about your stacks of cash Like a calm four flats, that'll get you jacked fast Boy, you a pussy, you say you move them white bricks A hundred thou for your chain, damn, that's a nice lick Don't be stunned around here, we'll take your life quick Your niggas won't be for kill your dogs, word to Mike Vick I fuck with killer, cause that man showed away When I'm starving, I'm robbing Batman's protege, uh -huh. resorting back to past crimes These ain't just jack rhymes, it's all these niggas cookies And guess what, it's snack all time What should I do, guys? Should I just go uh, public? <laughs> we ain't getting no fucking buddy I don't know, we ain't gonna get anybody public either uh, Let's see how it goes, I don't know Where you at, Jeff? He said, it's completely horrifying and you will never feel the same It's like when I saw my first cartel execution video uh, well, then I got to finish it. Yeah. Even though I know you're just breaking my balls, I can't help but check. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I get nervous. You want to talk about twisted? There was a girl from my circle of friends that set up one of my friends at a bar in York City, okay? And uh she set him up selling her an eight ball. Right? And he got locked up. Well, probably about a year later. And this was a mother. Was a, first of all, it was a beautiful fucking girl. A woman. Beautiful fucking woman. I mean, holy fuck. Trust me when I tell you. Okay? Gorgeous from head to toe. Um, but she was a mother. And a damn good mother at that. This is how hardcore I was when it came to the no snitching shit. She, something happened. Or she broke her ankle or her leg or something. Okay? And she was, you know, laid up, so to speak. And she wound up getting a blood clot. And it traveled to her heart. And she died. Now, this girl was maybe 30, might have been 35 when this happened at Tops. okay? Uh, when did it happen? Let me think. Yeah, she was probably around 30, okay? And if you knew what I said, the joke I made about her death, I'm not even, I, just thinking about what I said about it makes me fucking sick to my stomach. But that's how strongly I felt about this shit, that I was glad she was dead. Glad. She had children. She had like a fucking two-year-old, for Christ's sake, who loved and adored her. She had a husband. She had a... Uh, she was a professional she she just you know got caught with a little bit of coke because she liked to get high every now and then and she set somebody up and i was actually glad this girl died and i made a, a disgusting joke to a whole bunch of people about her fucking death i think back on that now that's fucking disgusting that is fucking disgraceful yeah i know maybe B, B, B. he's full of shit. he wasn't tested he, he the only thing he needs to be tested for is uh hiv well but we already saw Unfortunately, I feel bad for the guy. He probably doesn't have to be tested because he already knows the results and there they are. Look at that. HIV status positive. If he wasn't a Nazi scumbag, I'd actually feel bad about, uh, about his uh, medical issues. You know what I mean? But I don't. I just hope it turns into full-blown AIDS as soon as possible. <laughs> Let me know if it, uh... Anyway... Three pounds underweight. Yeah, yeah, this is why, um... This is... He's got a six-pack. It's not because he's a, you know, um, a strong, strapping, healthy male. No, it's because he's dying. It's actually kind of sad. Not for me, because I fucking hate Lefty, and I hope he dies. Not for me, because I fucking hate Lefty, and I hope he dies. Um, but for some people, I'm sure, I'm sure it's sad. Listen, I'm three years clean and sober. I quit cocaine. I quit alcohol. Sorry, I still smoke cigarettes. How many years you sober? I don't feel bad. I smoke cigarettes like a chimney. How long have you been sober? Bad. June 21st was three years. That's beautiful, bro. I'm very proud Thank of you. you. And I hope hey, you're listen, telling the I truth because, you know, I really do. Bro. Trust Did me. Did you go to NA or AA to do this? I speak hey, guys, at meetings. I, I speak at meetings quite That's often. good, bro. how i live i don't every now and then i get a craving i haven't relapsed in three years and i did it all without ever ever stepping into a meeting but now i got this guy from florida who doesn't know me personally telling me i belong in a meeting 
Yeah, you do. You do. Not good for you. This is definitely not good for you, bro. bro this is not good for you. Me. It's not good for you, FBS. It's no, not it's good for you. it's better for me. You know why? Because motherfuckers not. like you, bro, my sobriety no. will stay intact just because I'd never give you cocksuckers did, the satisfaction did, of seeing me fall. Did you call the people that you hurt? One of, that's one of, probably one of the 12 steps. Did you call the people? Did you do the 12 steps? I, I, no, I don't have to, bro. Oh, that's, that's, no, no, that's a no, no. That's a no, no. FBS. This is what that's you do. a no, no. You can't argue issues, bro. So you. I love pulling the cards. I love pulling the cards of a fake gangster. I love doing. You that. love pulling the cards of a fake gangster. <laughs> that's what's up. <coughs> Good that's shit. Up. You're right. I am a fake gangster. Fuck. I don't know nobody. Me. I'm a fake gangster. I don't know nobody. Listen, BK, don't be mad at me after this again, bro. Don't please. Don't be mad at me. Gonna, <laughs> is this your boy right here? No, I, yo, bro. We just made up the other day. We just made up the other day. I don't want to be. This your like, fucking boy, this gun smoke. He's, you, he's you, very opinionated, this guy. You know, man, he's, fuck him. No, nah, I, I don't hear even you. know the guy. He's coming to me. I don't even know. Yo, BK <laughs> Shallot, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go, bro. Fuck him. But it's nothing personal, please. He's a clown. Know. It is, man. You, you don't gotta be so mad at people, bro. See, gun smoke. You can't no, no, he's really a good play. guy. Like, no, he's really a good guy. guy he just, you know, he, he gets a little nah, crazy with people. Gun smoke. You can't do it that way, man. Like I'm riding with you for so long now. You're. I'm with you, nah, nah. You know I'm with you, bro. I'm gonna tell that dude nah, I don't think Gun Smoke knew he was gonna come at you like that. I didn't even know he was gonna come at you like that, yeah, bro. Well, I didn't fucking sandbag you, bro. Clown, man. He's a clown. I didn't fucking sandbag you, but yo, BK. Gun smoke. What clown fucking? Persuade how you think, bro. If you like me, really? if you like him, what's the fuck? It's bro, I, I'm just very grateful that we made up the other day. We made peace with each other. I, like I can't fuck with you, guys, smoke. You fucking with this clown, man. I don't get down like that. I'm a real dude. I'm on your channel, tell you. I don't. What are you talking about? Don't play me like that. If you you're playing both sides. I'm gonna let this bro, guy go. You're not boy, you're letting this dude be disrespectful. No, no, I didn't let him be disrespectful. Nah, that's bro. clown shit, man. I don't get down like that. What are Yo, you talking Lefty, about? It's nice to meet you, man. I'm. I don't do that shit. I defended you a lot. I just let him go, bro. I just let him hey, go. Man, don't do I that to me, bro. You say, you're saying, oh, man, I don't want to offend no, you. No, but I just told him, bro. We just hey, lefty, we like beef and nice we made up the other you. day. Lefty, God bless. Bro. Oh, nice wow. Man. Cold, really? Oh, see, look. Go to the streets, man. You got to uh, Angel Gotti, you got a tweet on your Twitter that says, you're not going to be bullied into men, and men ain't going to silence you. You're the biggest piece of crap bully I've ever met in my life, lady. Let me tell you something. Anybody ever says anything wrong about John A302 Gotti, you got something to say and chirp while you're in somebody's pool house, drunk as hell drinking, all over the internet on a dude with 3,500 subscribers, and you're like posting, go to his channel, he's got a good channel. That's because anybody with major subscribers ain't messing with you. Sammy the Bull Gravano ain't going to have you on there. John Allite ain't going to have you on there. Who else is big? I can't even get with names right now. Think about it. Anybody that has a big channel, Michael Franzese gonna let you on there? No, nah, girl. So the next big thing is you and Mob Rats Exposed, Jeff Carnese, go around into the little live streams at night and see who has the most streamers, which would be Fatball Sicilian, who's a nobody because he's a nobody. He has 3,500 subscribers. Well, big people have half a million subscribers that are talking about this. Let me tell you something, lady. You coming after the wrong person, Angel Gotti, John Gotti Jr. Let me tell you something. I'm not scared of y'all punks. Ain't nobody in this world scared of a damn Gotti, boy. Dude, without guys like you and Antonino and everybody who donates, you know, that I'm, I gotta go get a job at a factory. You know what I mean? Or go sell Coke again or something. The problem is you can't decipher what's true and what's not, even if he's telling his stories. Yeah, I know, but if you, you, this is the thing, you you could lie believably. You know what I'm saying? Like even Tony Pizza with his mob shit, he could lie believably. Believably. <laughs> you gotta say that word for a second. In other words, um, say you know, um, I don't know, like just sugarcoat things, you know, and and just to make it interesting. He's Tony Pizza. Who cares? Nobody's watching him for his honesty. You know, uh, like say he used to see Sammy around the neighborhood, something like that. And and, and he, he said hello to him a couple of times. Uh, hey, that's more contact than any of us have ever had with Sammy the Bull, right? Be interesting still. He would say some shit like, you know, he was a skydiver and he fucking, uh, I don't know. I don't know why that came to mind. He was a fucking, uh, he was in the military. He was a, he was a, a brain surgeon at one point. No, 
I'm just fucking around. But uh, he, he would embellish greatly, of course. Um, I forgot what my point was. My point is, uh, if he didn't go too fucking wild and he just told his stories, you know, what, what was it like? Tony P's. What's it like living on the fucking street every night out in the elements? How often did you, did you, you know, um, sleep on the street? He's got stories. He's got different types of stories to tell. Listen, a person who's lived homeless for that many years has lived. Uh, Cletus is step cousin. FBS, you're done. The cop calling an ambulance ride turned many off. All that's left is the hardcore simps. Finito. Uh, Cletus is stepson. I'd hate to show you my income. I think you might think differently. <laughs> even even on a terrible month like this. Cletus is stepson. You'd give both of your balls to make even what I made this month doing what I do for a living. That's what you fucking think. No, trust me, it didn't. Nobody in their right mind thinks anything strange about what I did that night. Nobody in their right mind thinks anything strange about what I did that night. Nobody. They say it. But what if my, my, I, my, I had a back injury? My, I had a fucking brain bleed. What if I, I was just beaten by five guys with a fucking baseball bat? I wasn't supposed to go get checked out? Okay. What if my, 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 I had a back injury? My, I had a fucking brain bleed? What if I, I was just beaten by five guys with a fucking baseball bat? I wasn't supposed to go get checked out. Okay. But. This is why so many people like Cletus' step cousin, and uh, I'm sure he's, he's got two or three teeth in his mouth, and a lot of these content creators look the way they do. But, I mean, they're like, ah, oh, just walk it off. Then their teeth fall out. Their nose stays broken and crooked. They're all fucked up for life. You know? <laughs> Not oh. Oh, Cletus, you wish. That's what you're looking for. You hope that someday, that someday, uh, I just totally fail. I, the only person that's going to ruin me is me. If I decide to, that's it. Trust me. That's a fantasy you guys have had for a long time. And it's never going to come true. Nico, see a connection. Yeah, but if you do the same shit in a bigger community, you'd get paid more. Just saying getting paid more from Penguins is different than Johnny Short Stacks. You do have a point, Nico, see a connection. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, miss, I, I do, you know. And, uh, uh, and I've proven that, you know, if I'm doing drama and I got 300 people watching live, or I'm just talking about nonsense like this show and I got a hundred people watching. Chances are I'm still gonna make the same amount of money. I make I might make a little more with the drama if I'm really going crazy on people. But the people I have that donate, donate when they can donate. That's one thing I learned. Okay. Um, I've done shows where I was tearing angel apart and I didn't make no money, and then I do a show where I'm just talking about life and I make three hundred dollars. It just depends. So there isn't any definite formula. Drama will, will always make you more, but look what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? I uh, oh, I definitely need that, Miss Campiro. Well, Tony Floyd, if I would have driven, you would have given me trouble about that, too. And why, why does it bother you? Does it, it bothers you personally? Like, it makes you angry that I went in an ambulance? I just got hit in the head 30, 40, 50 fucking times. Yeah, I was going to get in the car and drive. And I had blood all over me. I was going to get in my brand new car covered in blood and drive after taking all those blows to the head. Or, or my other option would have been to have my mom take me to drag her out in the cold and shit and make her drive me to the hospital. There's nothing odd about that, Tony Floyd. Any any person in their reasonable in their in their what the fuck was I just gonna say? Any person in their right mind would have done the same thing. You know, as far as taking the ambulance, I had a couple of options. That was one of them. There, there was no lights on. We sat in front of my house in that ambulance for like 40 minutes before it even took off. I wasn't rushed to the fucking emergency room. Hey, everybody, just remember that Piggy rode in an ambulance because he had a bloody nose. <laughs> Dude, at this point, you might as well just say that you rode in the ambulance because you had a bloody vagina. You a little pussy boy, piggy. It's the method of transportation I chose to take, and guess who's going to pay for it? Not me. I'm not paying for that ambulance ride. They are. They are. They are. That'll be part of fines and costs and restitution. Yeah. Here. Here. Absolutely. So, trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. How can you even argue with a guy named Cletus? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> well, isn't Cletus one of a pizza supporters? This is Cletus's who? Stepson or something? It's Cletus's stepson. Yeah, I know. Over and over again. It would have been like uh, it would have been like driving drunk. 
Do you guys see how out of my mind I was? How fast I was talking? How fucking hyped I was? Yeah, it probably would have been a, a terrible idea for me to drive. It wasn't even an option in my mind. It wasn't even an option. Plus, you know how I am. There was blood all over me. That car was four or five months old at the time. No chance. <laughs> no fucking chance. No. I'm in the ambulance sitting up. I'm doing a YouTube live stream from the ambulance laughing and joking and they're like ha ha pussy look at him they're acting like i was on the fucking gurney like oh my neck my back my neck and my back it doesn't matter what i would have done it would have been wrong no matter what i would have been uh, what i would have done remember when I, I burnt the goddamn skin off my foot and my mom went to get me burn cream and for like three months people bashed me for having my mom go to the store to get fucking burn cream remember there's nothing i can do right if i would have driven they would have said how could you drive if you were just jump this is what they would have said there's no way you could have drive uh, could have driven yourself to the hospital there's no way you could have drove there if you were just jumped there's no way you'd be all fucked up and dizzy and all that which they would have been exactly right okay but it doesn't matter whatever if i would have took an uber they would have said ah oh, pussy takes an uber he actually paid to go to the hospital no matter if i would have skateboarded there there would have been a problem if i would have flown on a broomstick if I, a magic carpet no matter what you know what i mean no matter what and here's the funny thing they think they're exposing me for something i went live deliberately you know nobody made me it wasn't like the lady in the ambulance was like go live and tell everybody what just happened you know, go live from the hospital, show everybody you're here. They act like they found this out. Oh my God, he, didn't, he never told us. His pussy took an ambulance and went to the hospital. I showed you that. I could have just done the first video, said, hey, I just got jumped, and then just shut it down for the fucking night. No, I, I am smart. I am a smart motherfucker. I went live and I made like $400 that night. <laughs> Even beat up and bloodied, I'm thinking about money. Absolutely. fucking loot. Was I in my right mind? No fucking way. I was not in my right mind. I'll tell you that right. You can't be. After something like that, you're not in your right mind. I know people want to, till the end of time, they like to say it was a fight and stuff. That's your delusion. That's what you want to believe because you don't like me. I got jumped. I got hit in the head by the guy Ronnie over and over and over again from behind. In the side, in both sides of my fucking face, I'm getting hit with the fucking bat in the leg. My leg's all fucked up. I, they kicked me all over my fucking body. You can see my body scratched and scraped and bruised and bleeding. Uh, I was all fucked up. Uh, yeah, yeah. There was no uh, safe way for me to drive myself to the fucking hospital. And my mom was a, a mess, hysterical. I wasn't going to make her fucking take me to the hospital. But I don't care. I don't even have to defend it. You guys are ass fucking holes. You guys are ass fucking holes. Most of you pussies. Let me tell you something. I'll say it again. Five guys pulled up to my house. I knew about three of them when I slammed my car into park and, and jumped out rather than driving off or rolling up the windows and calling 911. I, I said, oh, he wants to fight me? Boom. I jumped out and I fought. Then I got jumped. Two other guys showed up. I got jumped. I got beat real fucking bad. You guys want to say, oh, he just got a broken nose. No, I didn't. I'll show you the pictures again of my body. I didn't just get a broken nose. Okay. Um, most of you motherfuckers, if you got a scratch on your fucking face from a from a one-on-one -on -one fight, you probably would have taken an ambulance to the fucking hospital. You guys are all so hard when you're hiding behind avatars and fake names. But nobody knows who you are. And, and nobody, by the way, nobody else on here has ever been in a fight publicly. You know? Like to the point where, oh, it just took place and everybody knows about it. Now you're doing live streams right after you got in the fight. And you're all bloody and bruised. Nobody in here has been in a fight yet except for me. Forget publicly. But as far as MobTube, because of MobTube, nobody's been in a fight. It's been two and a half years. I'm the only person who got pulled up on and fought. Everybody else either hid or drove off. Everybody else either hid or drove off. Everybody else either hid. Oh, he's talking about you right there, Gunsmoke. He's trying to sneak this you like a little bitch. You gonna let this fucking pussy talk about you like that, man? Or drove off? I'm the only person who got out and fought. And I did not have to. I mean, I did because of the fact that they were at my house. It was self-defense. If I didn't get out and, and, and fight and I took the fuck off, they probably, you know, they would be at my house where my family is. But I mean, self-defense, if I didn't get out and, and, and fight, and I took the fuck off, they probably, you know, they would be at my house where my family is. But I mean, if I, you know, wasn't worried about them, if I was that type of douchebag, only cares about myself, I could have drove the fuck off with no problem. So nobody in their right mind, nobody who's being honest can knock me for what I did. That was the biggest display of balls you've ever seen on MobTube. That was the biggest display of balls you've ever seen on MobTube. You know how many of these other guys would have would have jetted? They would have bounced the minute they saw that van pull up. They would have they would have fucking bounced. Guys coming from all directions, different cars, 
all that shit going on at once and you all you're trying to do is get your groceries in the house and do a live stream you know what i mean that's why i have no shame about that night i'm proud of that night i'm proud of that night fucking right i'm proud of it and let me tell you something else let me tell you something else if you're gonna sue you have to go to the hospital okay if, if you know something like that happens to you okay i'm suing this motherfucker you gotta go to the hospital you gotta have medical records to to prove your injuries you stupid motherfuckers you do realize that right you you can't just say oh by the way your honor i think my nose was broken and and, and i didn't get any pictures of my body or any fucking thing but take my word for it you gotta do that you have to it's just like if something happens to your car in a car accident or if it's vandalized or something like what happened to me that night happens you you uh you have to call the police and get a police report or you uh you uh you have to call the police and get a police report hey i ain't even gonna lie man i missed making fun of this little fucking pussy for the past week i'm back now CeeLo. the insurance isn't gonna do a fucking thing about it they're not going to do a thing about it. And if you plan on pressing charges, you have to do certain things. The first thing I had to do was give my medical records. Otherwise, they don't even know if they could charge somebody or what they could charge them with. What was the extent of your injuries? Everything I did that night, for one reason or another, and I know you guys aren't bright. Uh, if you had street smarts, you would be. This motherfucker said street smarts, man. Do y'all believe this motherfucker? Y'all believe the stupid shit that comes out of his fat, query ass mouth? Boy, you're about as street as a fucking Mormon. Shut your little bitch ass up. Had to be done the way it was done. And I have no problem with it. And all you guys, you're all so tough. And 90% of you who talk shit are like Cletus' stepson here. Who are you? You gonna tell us? Not a chance in hell. Why not? Because you're scared. Okay. There's no other answer. What's the other answer? Oh, uh, I don't want people fucking with my family. Okay, so you're scared of that. Oh, I don't want people calling my job. Okay, so you're scared of that. Oh, I don't want to take abuse on YouTube. Okay, so you're scared of taking abuse. It all comes down to you being scared. So you're too scared to even show your identity on YouTube. Whereas I hopped out of a fucking car, a running car, with room in front of me, and voluntarily fought. Hey, we gotta listen to that again. This shit is too funny, man. What kind of thug talks like this, all proper and shit, like a little faggot? Boy, they eat you down on the res. With your little weak ass. Whereas I hopped out of a fucking car, a running car, with room in front of me, and voluntarily fought. Whereas I hopped out of a fucking car, a running car, with room in front of me, and voluntarily fought. People who showed up to my house to do harm to me. Anybody who's being honest with themselves is saying, Chris did exactly what he said he would do if somebody showed up to his house. Now, I said I would do worse, but I wasn't given the opportunity. I was ambushed. So, uh, all you guys are, are full of shit. None of you ha have yet, uh, none of you have proven yourself in any way, shape, or form. None of you. All you tough talkers, I'll do this, I'll do that. If somebody pulls up, if somebody says that about my wife, that about my daughter. None of you have done a fucking thing to anybody. None of you. And if you get pulled up on, you don't do anything. So, who, who is it talking about me? I mean, you got to be out of your fucking mind. There should be some other people maybe you talk about. I'm not one of them. Not when it comes to that. Not when it comes to that. I said a long time ago, numerous times, even if I know I'm going to lose a fight, I'm still going to fight. That's who I am. And that's exactly what I did. And nobody can deny it. And Johnny Mac has a video of me slamming my car into park and jumping out 
while Sessa and the guy Ronnie are standing right at my fucking door to the point where I could barely get it open and Johnny Max approaching me from across the street while simultaneously, simultaneously another car is pulling up behind mine with two people in it. It's, it's nothing short of balls of fucking steel, bro. But, you know, of course, you know, you, you can't really say much about that because it's, it's not disputed that I got out and fought. Everybody agrees, right, that that happened, sure. So it's got to be what took place after. You called the cop. Well, here's the thing. You got two choices. In a situation like this where I'm constantly getting death threats and there's all types of people threatening to do harm to me, when something like that happens, if I kill one of them or two of them or three of them or stab one of them or shoot one of them, something, it's going to make people think twice about coming here, right? Of course. If that doesn't happen and I do nothing, then everybody's going to think, well, we can go to his house too, where my family is. My job is to protect them. So the other option is call the cops to at least let people know that at the very least, you're going to get charges pressed against you. If that means you guys think you can make fun of me, go ahead. None of you can make fun of me. The people who I know, the people who I, whose identities I know, you're all a bunch of fucking clowns in real life. Half of you, can, you can't even provide a fucking living for yourself or your family. The other half is just getting fucking by and, and, and they live like, uh, you know, like, uh, like Tony fucking pizza. They're miserable and lonely and bored and, 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 and mad at themselves for making every wrong life choice possible. You know what I'm saying? So this is the same as everything else that happens on here. Hold on. Yep, see ya. You guys think you got one over on me. Like, oh, we finally got something we can, you know, bash him about. Meanwhile, I'm still doing just as well in the same situation I was always in. Happy as could be, always with a smile on my fucking face, except for, you know, a bad day here and there. And you guys are exactly who you always were. And you haven't taken a one step uh, forward. No, you've made no progress in fucking life. You think you're laughing at me. I'm laughing at you. That's the way it is. And I know, I know that any motherfucker who uses a fake name and keeps his identity a secret would never in a million years have the balls to get out of a car and fight. That's why you guys got to focus on what happened after. You can't talk about what happened in the beginning because it makes me look pretty fucking good, doesn't it? Sure it does. It confirms everything I told you about myself, that I'm not scared of nobody, no fucking body, period. It's not who I am. So, you know, thank you, Cletus, stepson. If that was you that made the comment that just put me on this rant for the last 20 minutes, I needed it. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh... Because I got a beating, I got all fucked up. Because I got a beating, I got all fucked up. Because I got a beating, I got all fucked up. Fuck all you YouTube people, fuck each and every one of you right in the ass. None of you stand for anything, you're a bunch of fucking weak pussy weasels. Every fucking one of you. Every fucking one of you, none of you stand for anything. Bunch of fucking punks. Redzilla. Redzilla's been busy. Making all y'all bitches holler. Know what I'm saying? We some black breakers. Man. Man.
Starbucks 1030. Okay, Vinny, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.